This video right here, man, is from um, Yachtman Gaming. I haven't watched Brody video in a, in a while, man. Last time, I you know, me and him had a difference of opinion on the view of 2K. But it seemed like most of the old guys, they usually come around to my side of the table. Um, and I think we at my side of the table. By looking at the title, this title says the harsh truth of the NBA 2K24. If you remember the situation, you know, that me and Yadman had, it wasn't a major issue or nothing like that. It was just very different in the opinion of some things he said. Um, but, you know, that was in the past. So we back reacting to one of his vids. Going to hear what he got to say about NBA 2K25. It's getting to that point of year where you cannot ignore what's going on in the NBA 2K community right now. Everything that you hear from me in this video is my opinion, my thoughts. I'm not going to be reading anybody else's opinion or thoughts. I don't want to obscure my own vision of what's going on. You understand me? As somebody that's been loyal to the grind for 2K since I've started, no excuses whether the game has been liked, whether the game has been heavily complained about, I will say that about from what we know about Yadman Gaming, he has been consistent. And it's hard for a lot of people to do. To be consistent at a game that has its ups and downs. That's not easy. And I will say he has been one of the few major creators that's still consistent whether the game is good or bad. I will give him that. I've been here 10 toes down since I've started this whole gaming career. It didn't happen as soon as I would have liked, but I did it. I ended up starting my journey. I had to put it on pause once I got married in 2016. I was 20. Fast forward two years later, March 2018. Boom. I said, all right, I'm going to start this 2K thing up now. Started it up. 2K18, the worst 2K of all time. Everybody says that. You, if you put out a poll, they're going to say that. Not including 2K25. 2K18, worst 2K of all time before 2K25. Um, worst 2K of all time. Two K twenty four, two K nineteen, two K eighteen was bad defense. They had it to where the the brick wall was op. There was a lot of glitches. I don't know me personally. And see, I shit on two K nineteen. Most people don't give two K nineteen bad report only because of dribbling. The dribbling was the only thing that was decent about 2K19. 2K19 was the same that, that 2K18 was, just a little better. It was just a little better than 2K18. Um, 19, I, I, don't, I, I, I did not like 19, so I have it as my top worst 2Ks, not my number one. I would say my number one worst 2K, I'm going to say 2K24. Like, if we don't put 2K25 in that conversation, I'm going to say 2K24. 2K24 was the year that I actually quit 2K. That was my first time quitting. Like, not because I had a situation going on in my life. My first time quitting a 2K was 2K24. I never quit a 2K. Like, I may have left because I had personal reason to leave, but I never quit it. My first time, qu no, I quit 2K19. I quit 2K19 as well. So, damn. I quit 2K19, but I still played 2K19, but I quit. I think I quit, like, mentally. I was checked out of there. I didn't care anymore because I knew the game was bad and everybody was glitching and cheating. So I didn't really care anymore about 2K19. But I, so I quit mentally, but I still played the game. Because I think I was hot around that time. Because I think, yeah, I was hot. I got hot off 2K18 as well. And I got, I blew up around 2K20. So, but 2K18 being the worst, I would say top three worst. Because I'm, 
is you know without including 2k25 but if we include 2k25 2k18 probably number four in my book because i'm gonna go with the worst 2k of all time i'm gonna say for me 2k24 that's the year i know i quit that's the year I, I said i quit and i did not play any more games i didn't touch it i didn't watch no content of it i just quit for me personally then i'm gonna go and say 2k19 for me was a bad game and then i'm gonna say 2k20 2k25 gotta be number one well if we're not including 2k25 2k18 for me is number three worst 2ks if we including 2k25 then i'm saying 2k25 worst 2k of all time then 2k24 then 2k19 then 2k18 for me i will not pull all right because i think the, the, there will be mixed votes well, the was bad to too. yeah but I, damn. The worst I forgot about that motherfucker. oh yeah that was bad oh man that was bad Damn, I forgot about that hoe. <laughs> 2K21 was bad, too. 2K of all time. I started my whole good, YouTube man. journey on that. There's a few OGs like my bridge and Michael and, and Elias. Yeah, 21, and I forgot like that. about they that. They knew me way back then. We are about to hit Thanksgiving, and I have seen some of the biggest creators drop out. And if they haven't dropped out yet, their views have significantly went down. My biggest reason for this game already being what it is the devs what i mean by the devs is before he go forward you know what i'm saying y'all know call a reaction video where i get to pause it and give my two cents the 2k community struggling struggle with accepting defense just that simple when I think about all these videos we react to, when I think about all the 2Ks that we consider bad, what was they missing? Why haven't everybody that works at 2K grasped that right there? Every 2K that we consider to be bad is missing one of the biggest components of basketball, and that's defense. No matter how much people like to win, no matter how easy people like a game to be, at the end of the day, people still thrives for a challenge. And there is no challenge. Nobody will accept fully. Nobody will ever accept, can I say this? A handicapped player competing with LeBron James. Nobody would ever tell LeBron James to strip down your power, strip down your ability. And this is your record. This is your, this is your career. You wouldn't, you, you wouldn't ask that. that would, we wouldn't allow that. We wouldn't allow a group of mentally challenged individuals. And I hope I'm saying this correct. You feel me? Educate me if I'm not. You want to allow the Special Olympics. That's why they call it the Special. You want to allow the Special Olympics to compete with the Olympics. Let's just be honest. It would be against. It would be against what we believe. It would be against the code. It would be against our morals. It would be against our our ethics. It'll be against righteousness. And then you're gonna put that on his record. You're gonna say. Hey, the Olympic team lost to the Special Olympics. Well, why did they lose? Because we had to dumb them down. We had to script them of their abilities. And that's what I'm saying. When it comes to 2K, they are scripting. They are scripting the people that are actually good at basketball. They are scripting us down to have us to compete with the Special Olympics. And I keep saying it. If you go look at all the 2Ks that we have an issue with, the number one issue is defense. Out of all the 2Ks, we can find a many of other things that we can have an issue with, but the number one thing that make people irritated and drive them crazy is bad shots going in, not being able to play proper defense, not being able to, to actually get the rebound, but all that centers around defense, all of it. 
So you wouldn't ask a group of elite players to dumb themselves down to, to give you entertainment. 2K, that's why my brother EJ says it's about entertaining. It is about entertaining in his world, and respectfully, I say this about my brother EJ. But it, it's about entertaining because over because 2K has dumbed it down to entertaining. Because there's no entertaining when you come on this basketball court. It's not the only entertainment you're getting is losing. Me trying to go at you as hard as I can, being the best that I can be against you. That's the entertainment you're going to get. You're going to get entertainment like, yo, I'm going to call this play out. Yo, back door, down screen. Yo, cross left. Yo, I need somebody to go to the high post on the left side. And then I need that back door cut to go back door. And I need that high post on the left to hit him with the oop. Nah, that's your entertainment. But see, they done dumbed it down to now you got to shake your ass. You got to you gotta be a gangster. You got to be um, a girl that's showing her chest. You got to be a dude that talking about drugs. See, this is what it has come to. You got to make jokes. See, it's one thing to be an entertainer and be good. Then to be an entertainer and constantly losing. And I'm not saying this about my brother EJ that he losing out here. But I'm saying, though, there's entertainers, there's content creators, and there's cup players. And you know I already know what category I consider myself in. Nobody can't take it away from me. I've been number one in pro am. I've been no, I've been the man in the stage. I've been I've been the man in part. Um, I got a I got a career record that speaks for myself. Uh, I'm known in the 2K community, so you can't take it away from me. I consider myself among the cups elite players. I have put them on their ass. You feel me? I have I have been put on my ass, but I have been that part player that I always say I'm a part player. But I put any of you niggas on your ass. And I done did it in all areas. You can't take it away from me. You can't take it away from me. It's documented. You feel me? Um, so, yes, there are entertainers. And then, yes, there are skillful players. And they want us skillful players to compete with these kids, these entertainers. But see, you never ask Shakedown to compete with a felon because you know the outcome. You never ask uh, K Spade, the prospect, to compete with a anonymous 2K TV. It's a difference. Although those are great idols in our community, in our legacy, stay down, the Chris move. Those are our idols. We we looked up to them growing up. But we know the difference when a shakedown step in the ring with a with a Jay-Z. Respectfully, and I know, well, I shouldn't have said them two because they friends. I, I, I didn't mean it like, you know, but what I'm saying is it's the difference between a Chris move and an instant burner. It's the difference between a Joe Knows and a, and, a, and a QJB. And I'm saying this respectfully. I'm not trying to shit on nobody, but I'm saying there's entertainers, there's content creators, and then there's them dogs. And now the dogs are out here fighting with the cats. And I'm being respectful. I'm not dissing nobody. We all see. See, it's sad that I got to say this because we can't own where we are. You know you're a level. Like, I'm a comp player, but I'm a level four comp player. See, I know what rank I am. I am a phenomenal 2K player. But I'm still not at the top of the food chain of them dogs. I'm a dog, but I ain't no dog dog. You see what I'm saying? So I know what category I am in. But then, see, everybody don't know what category they in, so you got to baby fight these niggas' feelings. I didn't go off subject, did it? We still on the same page, right? Stay. Are out of touch with the, with the community the developers are out of Thanks, touch with Derek. their own community and i say this from experience i'm not going to speak on certain things i have unfollowed all of the devs except ld2 wow and here's i think the devs wow this is shocking this is shocking because me and y'all man you know we had a difference of opinion a year ago or maybe two years ago and now y'all man has unfollow every dev is he disassociating himself with the 2k corporation interesting interesting very interesting forgot that they they work for us 
You see what I'm yes, saying? Yes, sir. They do I'm work not for trying us. to sound egotistical, but oh, no. oh, duh. Sound like what Anonymous was saying a year or two ago. When when when, when the community, it sounds like something that Anonymous was saying a year or two ago. I can't remember how long it been. I think it'd be about a year that you know Anonymous got into it with a lot of major creators because I'm trying to tell them they work for us. Oh, interesting. A little ego to them. You understand me? Interesting. They forgot that they oh, their only goal is to create the game. I feel like they're too busy trying to be celebrities. Bingo. To where they're out of touch with their own help, son. Help. You keep going. I'm sorry. Keep going. Community, because they want to make the game a certain way and say, here, take it, take it or leave it. Mm -hmm. they've gotten that big headed i don't think they have learned from the recent roster clear out from the ceo the ceo don't ceo don't give a damn as long as he's getting paid you might get cleared out so you better get your act together and i yes, say sir. this with respect too much times i've been seeing recently where the devs go on twitter and they post some nonsense completely out of touch i think mike wang had commented good, gang? in a response to dunk meter being broken with a clip of uh, uh, one time it's working not realizing that the mass consensus knows that the dunk meter is completely broken compared to what it was in the previous years the devs yes, are so busy trying to be famous and trying to be egotistical because they're not realizing that we're not here to hear your opinion or, or hear what you like you're making oh, the game for the consumer oh. the consumer is what matters not you yes. you are there to do a specific job you understand me it's not just you you don't matter just like this is why it hurts this is why activists get burnt out they don't get burnt out because they hate doing their job and it's not a job because you love it you want to you want to stand up for the people you want to get us in a better situation and you saying y'all let's all get together we can defeat this corporation we can defeat this system let's all work together let's build and then you have people like my brother right here they be against it they say, you know, this is a corporation and they can do what they want to do in their game. And, you know, y'all just complaining. And then you see these people that don't jump on the same page with the activists, but then they'll come a year or two later and speak the same message of the activists. Respectfully, I'm saying what I'm saying, but man, it's tough. Because what if we all could have got on the same? Well, I know that don't work. I'm asking for a miracle. I didn't. I didn't become aware of what I'm aware of when somebody else was aware of it. So I had to. I get it. I get it. We all have our own time when we able to see the truth. So now we are dealing with the harsh truth of NBA 2K25. Okay. Okay. Like when I was in the military, I don't matter. I'm a number. You're a number. You understand me? When I was in the military, I was a number. I was a number told to do a specific thing to make this run. You are a number to do a specific thing to make this ship run, which is creating a good basketball video game, which you have failed to do this year. You have failed to do that this year. Developers, because you're out of touch with the community that matters because you want to build your own community, build yes. a narrative. Yes, what this is why Ronnie loves hanging out with the celebrities because Ronnie and I told y'all what I said yesterday. The community has placed these guys in a situation to where they able to deal with mega brands like Jordan, Nike. They able to deal with mega brands like the NBA. They, they didn't have the NBA in their back pocket a couple years ago, but because we created this monster, this monster is now turning its back on us. We created 2K to the level that it's at today. And then they turn their backs on us. Boy, what money will do to you? What money will, what money, fame, what money and clout will do to a motherfucker, boy? But mm. really, it's just a small percentage of people under Sim Nation. The Czar is the leader of Sim Nation. I'm, I think he unfollowed me a couple years back. 
Oh, actually, last year. That's how I knew I was going to Community Day before to, uh, in 2K24 because he unfollowed me because Sim Nation had came at me for posting a tweet of me Stizo dribbling in 2K19. And they, it, the tweet went viral, 4.5 million views or more now. They were just lighting me up and I was clapping back at them. He unfollowed me because of that. That's when I knew the devs were soft. They don't like anything that's not their opinion. Sim Nation has killed this game, 2K, the game that we love, and they're not even playing it anymore. You see, Sim Nation is like, when you go buy, you, you, you look at this house and you want the house all the time. You're like, oh, I want this car really bad. And you get the car, you get the house and you're like, I think I overspent on this vehicle. I think I overspent on this house. I don't think this was what I was expecting. That is Sim Nation. And this is what the developers have folded to. Not realizing why. I'm pondering on what he's saying. Because I'm a part of Sim Nation. But am I a hybrid? Based on what I keep hearing people speak on about Sim Nation, it makes me think, am I really Sim Nation? Because I think I'm Sim Nation. But my definition of Sim Nation could be different than everybody else. My definition of Sim Nation is teamwork and defense. Teamwork and defense. But when I hear them speak on Sim Nation, it sounds like they're speaking of a place of they want a Pacific theme to, to be a Pacific way. And I, and I ask myself, because every when I hear people speak on Sim Nation, I say, damn, I'm Sim Nation, but that's not, I don't think how they thinking. So maybe I have lost the concept and maybe I have just changed the concept in my own head to what Sim Nation is because I, I have always carried the title of Sim Nation and I just assume in my brain, in my vocabulary, the definition I give Sim Nation is teamwork and defense. We don't cheat. We don't use glitches. We use this up here to outsmart the next team. I'm going to beat you with bad doors because you made a 5'9 point guard. I'm going to abuse your little point guard. Because you didn't make him tall enough, I'm going to abuse him. That's my Sim Nation. I'm going to call plays to make you hate basketball. See, you're going to appreciate this game and this exploit. My Sim Nation is I'm going to beat you with skills. I don't need these exploits. So maybe my, my definition of Sim Nation is different than what everybody else goes with when they, when they say Sim Nation. Why would you go away from what makes good, you gang? rich? The developers, I believe, okay. have lost touch with rich. Okay, my boy, say, um, my boy say, I'm not Sim Nation, I'm more of IQ, like playing the game the right way. Okay, and see, that's what I thought Sim Nation was. I thought Sim Nation was we compete the right way, but like I said, so... Apparently, Sim Nation means something else. And I've just been running with my own definition. Reality, okay. which is they need to be focused on what is important, which is creating a good basketball game. I think they've been too focused on being celebrities and creating their own narrative and trying to go against the green. Like, they, like they're trying to be the new age of developers that's going against the consumers. You saw COD tried it and you saw what happened. They folded. Right. They had to go back to what made COD fun. Slide canceling. Arcadic. I know people are going to say, yeah, man, but basketball is realism. You say you want something until it's actually here. What's realism? Random based. What's 2K25? Random based animations. This is the realism you cried for. Matter of fact. See, I, see, see I'm glad. See, I'm glad he's breaking it down like this. I'm glad he's breaking it down the way he's breaking it down. But I'm also asking, who voted, who said I want realism and realism, realism equal randomness? Huh? I'm not following. I'm not, it's not clicking. Let me say that slow so y'all can, because I may not be clicking to you. What I'm saying is, who said realism equal 2K controls what I do? Not clicking. Are you a uh, type one if you understand what I'm asking? Who said realism equals randomness dribble moves, randomness shot, jump shot changing release points? I'm not, it's not clicking. So, asking for realism mean that 2K get the 
do what they want to do because that's what real I, I, it's not clicking I, it's not clicking for me 2k25 is so real you got one dribble style that you can use versus competition 2k25 is so real you're missing dunks now wide open 2k25 is so real you get plugged okay. at any moment when you're going up for a layup or a dunk and the player is at the three-point line and they'll get an animation and, and take it from you you guys wanted realism the game is okay so anonymous 2k tv believes that okay if this is what here he's saying he's saying anonymous 2k tv but and i'm not trying to combat this video because i think me and him gonna agree on most of because me and him agreeing now but i'm trying to figure out how do how do we play a part in what we have today did we did did the serum nation play a part in this or did did 2k just come out and do something other some other shit because i'm asking anonymous don't think you should make every jump shot Anonymous thing fatigue. See? Here you go. I knew I was hitting on something. I knew it. Yamin and others, my brother Swante, believe that you should have unlimited stamina in 2K. Realism for me is saying, no. You should get tired at some point and miss that shot. I have watched my brother Yamin in his past videos say, he would he that he don't think that's 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 cool. 2K shouldn't have no stamina. It should be able to run around and run around. See, I don't agree with that. So my realism is saying yes. If you miss time your jump shot, you should be able to miss it. That's why I say green or miss. Anonymous. Anonymous is with the green or miss category. Green or miss. Because <laughs> realism is saying that you did not time your shot right. In real life, when you do not time your shot right, that's a possibility of a miss. And that's a possibility of a make. But in a video game, it needs to be miss or green. Because it gives us that chance to compete in a video game. Now, that may, see, I may be a hybrid in all of this real versus cap arcade shit. I may be a hybrid. Because there's moments when I can say I want real stamina. And then that's a moment when I can say, well anonymous, if he missed time and jump shot in real life, he makes it. He shoot half court shots in the NBA. Well I don't give a fuck if they shoot half court shots in the NBA. I don't want to see half court shots in 2K. So I guess I'm a hybrid. There's some things, see everything need to be an individual Box. Do you want people to shoot half court shots? No. Do you want stamina to matter in 2K? Yes. Do you want strength to matter in 2K? Yes. Would you like to see the offensive uh, player get every loose ball? No. I would like to see it be an option to be free as well. I don't want so there's things that I can agree with from arcade. But then that's thing I can agree with from realistic. So I think I'm in the middle of this real versus arcade shit. I don't want to see seven foot sellers dribbling in 2K. Is it real? Yes. How often? There need to be a way in. Is there one or two niggas dribbling that's a center in the NBA? One or two. Yes. Well, what happened when Shaq tried to come down the court with the ball? Created a lot of issues, didn't it? What happened? We see Giannis bringing the ball down the court from time to time, a little more often, but that's his team. That's one center that is really out here. We see Jokic. You know, so okay, we got two. How many centers are in the NBA? We only see about one or two niggas that actually get to control it from the center standpoint. So I don't want to see a seven foot center on 2K finessing me out my boots. No, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see a lockdown hit and square one time and getting 10 steals. I don't want to see that. That's not realistic, but y'all like it. It's not realistic to break my ankle every time you do a dribble move, but you like it. So I am in the middle of this real versus arcade stuff. There's things I like on the arcade side, and there's things I like on the real side. 
slower than it's ever been that I can remember. The game is slow and clunky. You understand me? What's a recipe for disaster for a gamer? When you game, you want to feel in control of what you're doing. 2K25, that's not the case. You are controlled by Michael Wang, the general. You understand me? I have a lot of respect for Michael Wang, but I've lost a lot. Okay, let me read this comment out loud. My boy say you can't have real basketball without balanced offense slash defense. I 100% agree. When people spend their money, they expect to be great and forgot they have no IQ. Other people have badges too. And see, this is the issue. Because people are buying their character, they want to be Superman and Superwoman without the IQ. So therefore, they're complaining about missing with a 99 three ball. When they shot a terrible shot. Great point, sir. Great point. We have guys that are spending their hard-earned money, girls that are spending their hard-earned money, coming out here, buying their character, but don't have the IQ for what they paid for. Tough. Tough. Out of respect as well. All right, you understand me? You are literally controlled by, if Michael Wang says you're going to miss your shot, you're going to miss your shot. I don't care if you have a 99 three-pointer. I don't care if you have all legend badges. You have your takeover. When it's time to miss your- and the 99 three-pointer. I don't think it's okay that 2K got you missing as often as they do. But if you are missed time of your jumper, guess what I think you should do? Miss every one of them? Because once again, I am for the green of miss. That's me. I am the green of miss category. If you are missed time of your jumper, you should miss it. But if you're time of your jumper right, I don't think 2K should be punishing you. You made a bill with a 99.3. You should get the benefits of it. But 2K should not give you a open shot when you are contested. This is you. This is me. I'm right here. So how is that open shot? So I don't want to see 2K make you miss your open shots. But I definitely want to see 2K let you make shots when I'm right here in your face. But see, we have a game that has not balanced the open shot, so how the hell are we expecting to balance the contested shots? God damn. We just solved it right there. We have a game where you have a 99-3 ball and you go one for six wide open. But if you're a contested, you go two for six. This shit is grace. Going to miss. Same thing goes for Duncan. I am a dunk meter for Nazi. Every game, I'm dunk meter in every single game. Man, boy, y'all killing me because I got to say this. I know I'm like to see y'all comments and keep the video playing. I apologize for the people that just want to see the video. The link will be in the description. If you just want to watch the video, you can go ahead and go watch it. But my guys are saying some amazing shit. I think Bad just messed up the game. Hello. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. We've been saying it for a while over here at Anonymous 2K TV. But hey, I love it when other people see it as well. Badges ruin the game. Badges. Because 2K can't balance regular gameplay, and then they done jumped up and threw badges in the mix. Now you got these badges that are solidified higher than my rating. You got a 63 ball, but somehow you was able to manufacture uh, enough badges to get a decent shot. How the fuck you do that? Luckily, they done toned it down a little bit. Now they're making this a little relevant. Okay, you got a 63-pointer. You can't get a uh, silver, silver limitless. It used to be so bad, dudes would have locked down with a 53 ball, and somehow they got a corner specialist. So they done toned it down a little bit, but it's still bad, because now we have badges called legendary. What is the fuck a legendary badge? Why would I need a legendary bag when you can't even get the basics right? You gonna give this nigga a legendary, and then on top of that, he got a legendary bag, and damn, the legendary probably don't even work. And then you see another case where the legendary working too damn good. It's too legendary. That's a lot of fuckery going on with the badges and the ratings. The ratings and the badges are not clicking in 2K. Since these badges have been here, they have been overpowering ratings. They have been, dude, because this motherfucker got a little funky ass badge 
You got a high rating, but his badge is overpowering your ratings? Get that out of here. That's bad. That's bad business. Game. I am somebody that will use the green, the smallest of smallest dunk majors to where people think I was zenning on dunk majors. I was Joe. I, I know I'm pausing this video. My boy said, I'm not going to lie. I like the big man that can dribble. I had one in 2022, 20, 23, 24, and 25 with Hall of Fame quick first step. See, <clears throat> we're not saying that you don't like it. You, just, you, you agree that you like the arcade style. And see, that's what I'm saying. Anonymous just in a difference of opinion. I don't like the arcade style of that. I like arcade things about 2K. Then I like some things to be real. But me personally, I don't want to see your seven foot dribbling. I don't want to see you with a seven foot center with quick first step. You're defeating the concept now of basketball. You're changing it in a video game standpoint because now if you can make a seven footer that can have quick first step, that can have all these extra badges, then what's the point of us making small bills? You're now you're not we're not playing basketball anymore we're playing let me get my best five and you get your best five and my best five is all seven footers and your best five is all seven footers and then somebody that tried to be different can't even be different because now i got to compete with the glitchiness that you made type one if you follow with me type one if you follow me i know that came out a little fast but type one if you follow me Knows 2.0 with the dunk nature last year. And that's what's but going year, on in a lot of cases. I will make 99%. This is why you don't see a lot of versatile, because why would I be versatile when I got to compete with this? See, in the comp world, there is no versatile. Type 1, if you're following. See, in the comp world, we all got to have the same build, the same archetype, the same height. You know what I'm saying? There's maybe one or two people that can try to pull off something different. But see, in a casual setting, you can create whatever you want. But when it comes to we playing for money, when it comes to we playing for bragging rights, when it comes to we playing for ratings, records, then guess what? You're going to see a lot of the same bills. You're going to see a lot of the same bills. You don't get to see no versatile because there is no versatile because of the way that the game is set up. It's hard to be versatile. It's hard for everybody to go create a Warriors team and go play comp pro am. Nah, everybody gonna try to get them a, a Denver Nuggets championship team. Type two if you following that right there. Type two if you following what I just said. Send up my dunk meters when they are open. Contact dunks is a 50-50. And I say that with that still being really good, that it's a 50-50 that I'm gonna make most of my contact dunks. Because this year, What's the good, average gang? person is not making not even one of them. They don't even want to attempt it. You understand me? I just like going against the grain. The RNG animations in this game have completely taken the joy out of what's most important. Because even if this game was to be left how it is with dribbling, which is a whole different topic, right? Yes. It still would be better if the RNG aspect of the game was completely removed. I agree with him. I agree. Like it was last year for the. I agree. With the bad gameplay. With the bad defense, you take our RNG, and I think a lot of us a, 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 a feel a little bit better. You let us control everything that we do, even with the bad defense, because RNG is really causing us to have bad defense. Because remember, we are not 100% in control of our player. So therefore, RNG... It's affecting every aspect of 2K25. Rebounding, passing, dunking, shooting, dribbling, everything. Moving. That's moving. You can't even control yourself moving. As soon as you get a rebound, your dude is automatically running out of bounds. Like, he didn't actually step out of bounds, but he just, you grabbed the rebound. Y'all know if you play 1v1s, right? Or 2v2s. You grab the ball and you just running out of bounds, but then you take you finally get control of yourself, but you don't waste it two seconds because your dude still you dumb fucker. Turn around, nigga. You got the rebound, go clear it. Then you go try to clear the ball. The three-point line is right here. Your dude backs all the way up, still moving before you can finally control him. You dumb fucker, stop moving. You cleared the ball right there. What is you still backpedaling for? <laughs> Most part, which, what, bad, which enables bad. Zens to work. But you see, if they would have gave us the ability to not use shot meter in a pro-am or stage, 
we would have been all right. Because- well, see, everybody don't like to glitch, Bill. That's a narrative. Everybody don't care to cheat. Some people are dogs. Everybody don't need a glitch, Bill. Respectfully, I say that. You know, but you like you said, that's your opinion. You know, I don't need a glitch, Bill. I just need this. I just need this. So, but I, but like I said, that's your opinion. That's your opinion. And that's my opinion. Everybody don't need a glitch, Bill. Because the part players would have been the ones dealing with the Zens because they don't believe Zens exist anyways until recently, right? Been crying this whole couple of years because I've been in the stage and I see what's going on. Same people. Y'all man, give me, you're just tripping. Zen's, Zen's not real, man. You're tripping. I stopped his patch. I know y'all getting lit up by the freaking Zens because Mike Wang Allah shot me turn in the, in the park. Y'all Thanks. are welcome. Ain't no five right? nine kicking no real. Years in advance. Some of y'all were brilliant enough. Let me know if that was you. Brilliant enough to know that y'all man. I've been playing bass. I'm 32 years old. I'm 5'11", five, 5, five, you know, 5. I could probably hit 6 feet on a good day. You know what I'm saying? Because, um, you know, your height go up and down as the day goes. For y'all that don't know that. Um, in the morning, you are the tallest. Tallest you will be. In the morning time, you are the tallest. And then as the sun start to drop, you start to shrink a little bit. I just hit you with some real shit. I don't know if you can tap into what I just said, but a lot of our cartoons show you the power. Sun will, all right, Dragon Ball Z type shit. But um, what I was gonna say, yeah, I ain't never seen a little nigga cooking no motherfucking six five, no six. Nigga, you might have a moment, but when it really come down to it, game over. When that six six or that six five get the ball and he really tired of you all that running around, you better not miss. You better be the best shooter in the world. Because guess what? You five nine. When that when that six four, that six two, that six three, that really is a hooper, and he get the ball and he say, game over, it's game over. Cause guess what? If he tired of playing with you, he just gonna come on, dog. You know what he's gonna do to you. We ain't even got to sit here and talk about it. If you're a hooper, you know what happened when a six something get on you little five nines. You five nines be killing for a moment. You be showing out. And then when that nigga say, okay, I'm about to lose. I'm scared. I got some money on the line. Came over. You know what the game over me. Gaming and others were speaking the truth. Some of y'all were gullible to believe that it was not real. But I hope <laughs> Mike Wan keeps shot meters in the park so y'all could deal with it a couple more years. You understand me? Anyways, RNG shooting, RNG dunking, <laughs> sim heads, anybody. This is with the most important thing in 2K. Leaving the dribbling out of it. You know what Carl Malone did to Isaiah Thomas, Thomas for coming to the paint? Isaiah Thomas is a good hooper. But when, when, when I think Carl Malone, Carl Malone got tired of him being a good hooper. <laughs> Cheat. They screwed that up this year. Big time. Big time. I don't care how good of a shooter you are. I play against the best shooters in this game. I play against league locks in the stage, <laughs> league Bang. guards in the stage, some of the best streamers and best players in the world in the stage on Proven Grounds earlier in the year. They're going to miss shots I've never seen them miss in years, including me. I have a saying in 2K25. This is going to be my legacy game. This is my legacy game Let's because it MVP. literally feels as if one game you're going to be able to have full control of your player and the next game you're going to lose 90% Man. control of your player and have to pray. That's true. That's true. That Mike Wang is on your side. That's whether true. Whether that's defensively. Hey, hey, listen, this is what I love more than anything. You got guys and girls that are professional 2K players. And I'm talking about us. I'm not talking about the 2K lead. I'm talking about you've been playing for years. You know what you're doing. For example, you got to do like anonymous 2K TV. Going one for nine. Two for 11. That ain't even in my DNA. I never in my life shot bad in 2K after the first three weeks. Right? Everybody is bad for the first three weeks. And then if I got to be honest, Anonymous probably bad for the first week, and that's it. Because, you know, I get more time in than the average person because this was my job. 
So I'm playing every day. So about, about the fourth day, I got to figure it out. Well, let's just say three weeks. Niggas still shoot two for 12. Knock down players. Players that know how to get open, wide open, and can't make a shot. Then all of a sudden, I go five for five, four for five. And then I come back and can't make a shot. Like, what is this? You tell me I was good enough to win flawless, shooting flawless. All of a sudden, now I forgot my jumper. You cannot be doing this to people. You cannot be doing that. That's, that's, that need to be a lawsuit. <laughs> We need to get on some drinks. That's a problem. That's a big freaking problem. Is there a way to fix this? I don't think there's a way to fix this this year, guys. Once they enable the ability for you to make mistimed jump shots in the park, yes, believe it or not, they are still holding people's hands to this day. You thought we thought they moved past it. Yeah. They had a, a good run moving I past see it, see. but they folded. The sim heads that loved and cried for 2K to move in this pro play direction are the ones to blame in my opinion for ruining the game that we love and the developers that created them because the developers created these spawns you understand me they gave them a platform when they didn't build their platform from scratch and i'm speaking my mind because it's the freaking truth and y'all know happened, this SG. you ever notice why there's so many creators out there like myself that didn't get a creator code didn't go to community today didn't get a logo only a couple times in my whole five six year cycle of doing this youtube thing we know why Skillful player don't get invited to 2K. You know, we know. Most of the people that get invited to a 2K community day are creators, content creators. Not the content creators that are going to be a skillful player. You may have one, you may have about, out of all those people, about five of them are actually hoopers. And then among that five, they are still bought and paid for. Ooh, type three, if you understand what I'm saying. Let me repeat it, though. I'm a, I like to be spiced a little bit. Out of the hundreds of people that go to the 2K community today, let's just say about 80, 50 to 80 people. One to five of them are actually comp creators. And that one to five, they are still bought and paid for, and they know 2K know that they're bought and paid for you know type three if you understand what i'm saying for 2k four years doing it five years doing it almost full time it's creators that will speak their mind or they don't feel like they can oh. control with gifts oh. and stuff like that See, he answering it for y'all god damn i told y'all to say it it's like this nigga read my mind well he he basically said what i'm trying to say you know what i'm talking about in my opinion that's the ones that they try to stay away from when the ones that okay. they are on let me let me play it back so you can hear the answer to what i just said and some of y'all already got it but let me play it back so you can hear him say it like myself that didn't get a creator code didn't go to community today didn't get a logo only a couple times in my whole five six year cycle of doing this youtube thing oh. for 2k four years doing it five years doing it almost full time it's creators that will speak their mind or they don't feel like they can control with gifts and stuff like that oh in my opinion that's the ones that in your they opinion, try to stay away from in my the opinion ones that too? They, they are uncertain about like i might be able to give yardman gaming a logo might okay. be able to fly him off a community day okay but I, oh. I don't think this guy's gonna fold and just put us on a, a pedestal if we do bad hello you know one creator that's big i think if 2k would have i think the only reason he's speaking against 2k now it's because he didn't get what he want. I ain't gonna say it. I'm gonna move faster, but a lot of these guys, they're only changing up because they didn't get invited. So they realize that they're never gonna get invited. They realize that there's no opportunity for them. So now they're coming to the dark side. <laughs> if we do body, he's gonna say it. The, and, and that's what those are the ones you had to be careful of. what i speak about when i say like the developers are acting like celebrities because i remember 2k24 i reached out to a couple of the devs asking them yo what's going on i'm, I'm seeing people getting community invites am i going to be invited i just like to know yes or no got some personal things going on IRL, y'all know my situation i don't have to explain it for those who know no like yo let me know 
I just want to know if I'm not going, I'm not going. That's fine. You understand me? It's cool. Just let me know so I can prepare and do everything I need to do in advance. Didn't get no response. I see people are coming in today. That was 2K24's launch. 2K25 launch come around. I'm asking the same thing. This time I actually get a response by one of the developers. Yeah, some, some answers that I wasn't too happy with. You know, that's why I ended up, you know, really stepping away from that side of things. In my opinion, it is too late for 2K to do anything. The only thing they can do now to make the game good for most people, because the only people playing the game now, like myself, is people that are basketball lovers. And that's it. You well, understand? Well, the well, people so. that come, the seasonal fans, they're out. Yeah, they're out. true. You true. understand me? I and agree. It's reality. It's reality. Last year, the game died before Christmas. This year, it died before Thanksgiving. Next year, I don't want to see what's going to happen because the developers are going to push this pro play stuff again. Pro play, I don't know what the heck they were thinking with this pro play stuff. You mean to tell me all the animations that we got last year that was usable? That see, see, once again, pro play. Can pro play exist without 2K controlling it? That's a real question. Because I don't know if it's pro play, the issue. The issue is 2K controlling my game. Can I do this pro play? Okay. Can the pro play move be pulled off by me, the human? Okay. If it can be pulled off by me, the human, then why is 2K interfering in my game? I, so I don't know is pro play the issue that I'm having. <laughs> the issue I'm having is 2K fucking with me. Is that pro play? If that's pro play, then pro play got to go. Got to go. Got to go. So the issue I'm having is 2K jumping in my game. If that's where pro play is, because I thought pro play was animations. You know, but can I pull these animations off without 2K interfering? And if I can do that, then get out the fucking way. That's all Anonymous is saying. If pro players can't be pulled off by me, the human, then pro play got to go. Whatever, whatever animation that's keeping me from doing it, and you got to jump in my game and pull me over here and do this to get out the way. That's what Anonymous is saying. So if pro play can't be done by me, then I don't want it. You push for pro play that you put in the game, that you took pride in putting in the game like the Kyrie Irving dribble style. You understand me? The LeBron dribble style, the pro dribble style. The Michael Jordan dribble style. All those animations. The Jamal yeah. Murray slide, like the behind the back. All these animations that you took hours and hours telling us that this is pro play, this is realistic. Just to find out that no matter what you do, you can put a real play person in this game. There's no way to make it realistic. Uh. The only way to make it realistic is to go outside and play basketball. <laughs> this realism, realism. I, I agree is right there. The gaming aspect. A lot of y'all are going to sit here and, oh, y'all, man, you're just complaining and complaining. No, I'm telling you the truth. Maybe you don't want to hear it, but I'm going to tell mm. it to you. I'm always going to tell you to you my truth. If you mm. don't like it, too bad. You know, you don't have to listen to me. You understand me? Let me tell you something right now. Everything that we have asked for, because I know a lot of y'all going to start caping up. They gave us everything we asked for. No, they did not. No, I never they gave asked. Us everything we asked for. I never asked for 2K to control my character. I never asked for no hair curlers. Anonymous only asked for defense, teamwork, no glitches, no exploits. This is shit Anonymous 2K TV been preaching, and I got a YouTube channel and a Twitch channel to prove it. The videos are there. Anonymous ain't asked for 2K to jump in his game not one time. I ain't asked for 2K. If you want to create some animations, I don't give a fuck if they create no more dribble moves. Because my only issue right now is the core of 2K. That's rebounding, passing, shooting, defense. Moving. Rebounding, passing, shooting, defense, moving. And then we can throw in dribbling in there. But I, I, so I don't care if 2K do nothing else. I don't ask for nothing but the simple shit. They don't give me what they need to give me my shit then. If 2K is out here giving people stuff, give me what I ask for then. Shooting, correct shooting, 
De okay, just give me defense and movement. I right, Jesse, fuck you, everything else. Listen, leave the shooting ass, leave the ducking ass, leave the dribbling ass. Just let me move correctly. Let me be in control of my character and defense. When I'm in somebody's face, I wanted to say tight cover. When I'm not guarding them, I wanted to say open or wide open. You see how fair I am? I'm so fair. When I'm there, when I'm slightly there, I wanted to slay slight cover. When I'm all the way there, I wanted to say he all the way in your motherfucking shit. I don't want 2K to guess. I want them to pop up on the screen and say that nigga was there. That's what I wanted to say. Can y'all reach out to the Dells and tell them Anonymous would like to, like, you know, have something. Since he's been a long-time protege of 2K, he has been a staple in the community. Can, can, can somebody let them know Anonymous want the game to say that nigga was there. When, when, when I'm right there, that nigga was there. I wanted to say that. That nigga was there. Nigga was there. When I'm not there, they like, damn, nigga, you wide open. Damn, nigga, you wide open. That's what I want my shit to say. You know, I get years that. ago, before Next Gen even released. You understand me? <laughs> because before Next Gen released, the game wasn't that broken. 2K20 was only bad. How hard is that? How hard is it? My boy say all the animation should be effective and as good as your ratings. Let me read that part again. All of the animation should be effective and as good as your rating. So if your rating is a 62, your dribbling skills should be a 62. If your dribbling skills are a 99 going against somebody who have a defense of 92, then your 99 should somewhere in between that battle of defense and offense, the 99 should win if he makes the right decision. But that come down to my game again. Why? Because, hey, if I got a, if I know I'm slow on defense, don't I need to play a little further back on you? Right? If I'm fast on defense, if I'm a Tony Allen, then I can play close in your shit because I have amazing recovery time. I'm quick on my feet. I'm light. I'm not a heavy defender. Right? So, that's where... In basketball, Steph Curry would have a pick and roll rant. If he get that center on him, he gonna tap dance. But it's a little harder when he gotta get that shot off again, Ray John Rondo. And it's a difference. Is he working as hard as he would have to work if he had Anthony Davis guarding him? That's not the same as having Tony Allen guarding him. That's not the same as having run a test guard to him. See, when Shaq guards Steph Curry, oh, shit. <laughs> now, when run a test get up in there, it's going to be a lot of shit. All right, shit, focus. Make the right dribble move. Make the right dribble move. God damn, this nigga run a test right here. Boom! I still shot on this ad, but boy, that was a tough shot. When he got Shaq on, that nigga is freestyling on Shaq. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, boom. Gotcha. Pickaboo, yeah, the pickaboo come up. Ain't no pickaboo when a nigga is on your chest. You just gotta run back down because nigga, you know the energy you just spent to get this shot off. Am I making, am I making sense to you? So I love what you just said. I'm gonna read that one more time. All animation should be effective in as good as your ratings, but somehow ratings have taken a back seat to bullshit. I, yeah. Because they gave us the same neighborhood. You understand? It's not a creator issue. It's a game issue. I don't honestly think there's anything they can do to fix this game without creating a new game. Come on. And this clearly. is where I'm going to leave it. I think 2K finally gave us everything we've been asking for for years. Huh? No because they knew the product that they were going to release was not sufficient enough because over the past few years 2k has not given us anything that we've asked for but the gameplay has had enough to suffice for that Who? this year that is okay not the case. i'm following you. i mean any. i'm following you. honestly i don't i don't know
I think that's he what said, it is. I think they. He they said knew. like 2K gave us the customization, the new park, the new city, um, the new badges, the, the you know new dribble moves. He said that 2K gave us all that stuff because they knew that their gameplay would not be where in the past their gameplay was playable. Playable question mark quotation marks, but they never gave us none of the other customization that we were asking for. So I can I can agree. The product this year was not going to be up to par to the standard, and they decided, okay, we're going to even it out by trying to give them all these different rewards. It sounds like complaining yeah. to, to a lot of yeah. people, but I'm just the reward system this year is fire. They giving you cow breakers like that shit is fire. The new takeover system is dope. It's dope as fuck. Um, the cow breakers is amazing idea. The the badge elevators amazing idea. They give you a lot of perks, you know. But like I said, they gave us all that with shitty gameplay. So what the fuck do that shit even matter? You ain't gonna even be on the game long enough to fucking <laughs> enjoy the perks. Just here to speak my mind on what's going on in the real situation in the 2K community right now. A lot of people are packing it up. Me, I'm going to be here, but that's not to say I don't have other things going on IRL that I'm about to be chasing because I'm not somebody that like to stay still. You understand me? Anyways, let me know what y'all think. Hey, shout out to y'all, man, gaming, man. I think he did a fine job on this video. I think uh, it's a great video. Like I said, some things that I still question, you know, um, it's like I said, is it pro play or is it 2K just interfering with the game? And if pro play is an animation that can't be pulled off by the human, then we don't want it. See, they keep trying to throw this AI shit down our throat. Um, and that's what's going on when we look at everything around us. They keep trying to put us in these AI sedated modes. But let me know if you're paying attention to that. Hint, hint. It start with the things that you like. Then if I can introduce it to the things that you like. Okay, maybe, I'm, maybe I ain't making no sense. We're going to go ahead and go on to the next video. But y'all make sure y'all check out the y'all, man. The link will be in the description. Y'all go over there and hit that like button. Show us some love. We appreciate his content. Thank you.